Friends, good evening. Today it is 8th uh, June and the time is 8 o'clock and uh, everything was looking good in the morning. Then uh, around 10.40, uh, uh, everything topped out and uh, we predicted the time in the morning itself. The 10.45 to 10.40 to 10.45 will be the crucial time for Bank Nifty and then the make or break timing is at uh, 2.25. And once the timing was done, after that, it was a clear break. And, uh, you know, it was actually killed because normally uh, in a weekly, uh, you know, expiry, first 30 minutes high and low will do the magic. But today it broken the 30 minutes high, went up. But suddenly after, you know, in the afternoon, it came and broke uh, the 30 minutes low. So it was a clear whipsaw today. And uh, we offloaded morning. It was a heavy profit, but suddenly everything gone for a toss. And we offloaded 75% of the quantity. We don't want to take any risk. And we have taken a very small quantity of uh, short in bank nifty and uh, nifty, but very small quantity. But according to me, this fall is a trap only because in our system, it has not given a sell in 15 minutes. It has given a fake sell today. So the confirmation is only for uh, only on tomorrow. Uh, still, we are holding reliance. Uh, uh, offloaded, uh, you know, off 70 uh, percent of the quantity in HDFC in HDFC Bank because Bank Nifty was not looking good today. So let's see. Uh, expecting that uh, it should be a trap only. Let's see how the thing is become. But the Tata Power was a rocker today. Hell a lot of money, but uh, suddenly everything was vanished. Uh, anyway, we are holding it, and uh, uh, the stop loss is 270 in on a 15 minutes closing basis. We are, uh, you know, expecting. Let's see. In case if it cuts below uh, 270 on 15 minutes closing basis, we will definitely cut the position because we are not married to any stock. We are not married to any stock. As a trader, no need to marry any stock. So let's go and see what all happened today and how we predicted the timing and all that. So now, uh, okay. So this was the uh, timing. Uh, around 9.26, we predicted Nifty 225 to 230 and the positional 9.20 to 9.25. Positional is 9.20 to 9.25 and Bank Nifty 10.40 to 10.45, 11.05 to 11.10 positional. And this is the mega time. And if you come in the end, we gave around 1 o'clock make or break timing. Uh, this is the Nifty make or break timing, 10.20, sorry, 2.20 to 210 to 215 and 225 to 230. And Bank Nifty make or break time is 235 to 240. So if you go and uh, see in the chart, okay, so this is the positional candle. I'm talking about first Nifty. See how we need to trade this, okay? So this is a positional candle. So once any candle closes above this candle high, here simply buy with the stop loss of this candle low. It went up. And suddenly it broke and this candle closed to below it. Once it closed to below, you need to initiate the shot once it comes and touches the low of this timing candle. So it came again and touched. And from there, it was a fall. And this was the make or break timing in Nifty and it was a collapse. Okay. And if you go to Bank Nifty, 1040 to 1045. See, we are not bothered about what is happening in RBI policy and all that because I don't see any of those. But we are writing this timing at 9.25. We are predicting this time at 9.25. Even if you go yesterday in my PPT, the timing was 10.50 to 10.55. Even if you take, this is the candle. This is the candle. None of the candle closed about. And we predicted the timing yesterday itself, but suddenly there was one combination after the market opened and that is why we predicted this candle will be the top, okay, which is 10.40 to 10.40. And after that, this is uh, the mega, uh, you know, make or break timing. The make or break timing means the move will be big. The move will be big. And this is after this candle came, this was a clear collapse. This was the clear collapse. So this is how timing works, whether it is even day or not. Even day, the timing works very well. On an even day, better to be with the timing rather than numbers and other stuff. Timing works very well on the even day. Okay. And if you go to uh, Fortune Signals, if you go to Nifty, and if you go to 15 minutes, so as of now, it is a fake sell only. As of now, it is a fake sell only, but Bank Nifty it gave a genuine sell because this candle. Close to below the sell candle low. 
Okay, so watch out. But if you take care of the stocks, nothing to worry about in stocks. Exactly, HDFC is at the support. HDFC Bank is at the support and Tata Power. Nothing to worry about in magical candles. Simply, you can buy about 222 again, keeping a stop loss of 220.25. Hardly, you know, one and a half rupees stop loss, you can definitely take a call in this and reliance. Absolutely, there is no worry. Absolutely, there is no worry. And it has come down exactly to the support and went up. Okay. So, uh, this is what it is. And a uh, few people I was asking about, you know, uh, mid cap and other stuff. So, I made some, I uh, think, see, if you go to mid cap, uh, this is uh, mid cap. Uh, Okay, so this is small cap. See, this is actually on a monthly. On a monthly. So it gave a sell, but none of the candle closed below the sell. So it means this is a clear, clear trap. And again, it went up, came down, touched the blue, and from there it went up. And if you go to mid cap, the same thing. It gave a sell, which is a fake sell, and which is a trap. This happened on March 20th. And from there, it was a real, real rocker. So if you go to Sun Pharma, this is what we said that you know the 992 will be the bottom in daily because it gave a sell and none of the candle closed below the sell. This is called a fake sell. This is called a trap. This is called a trap. Anyway, uh, we will discuss all that in Sunday webinar. Let's go and talk about what's going to happen for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So now this is the uh one second. Yeah, this is the Friday. So now you need to keep the Thursday positional candle high and low with you. And 11.05 11 to 11.10 positional of Thursday in Manhattan. And this is the timing for tomorrow. This is the timing for tomorrow. And if you see yesterday, we have given two numbers. And we said very, very clearly that 18,707, which is the crucial level. And we said this two number converged. And market came down exactly, and we predicted that you know below eighteen thousand seven hundred and sixty-two, the number will be eighteen thousand seven hundred seven. Exactly, it came and touched this number and bounced. And if you go to Bank Nifty, we said the difference is only ten rupees. The difference is only ten rupees. Exactly, Bank Nifty came down, touched four four three one six. The low was uh, I think around two thirty was two four. Uh, 310 and from there it, it gave 200 points bounce. So that's how this numbers will work. This numbers will work. I am not writing 200 points uh, downside support, 100 points. We are giving one clear number. We are giving one clear number. Okay. And uh, tomorrow again, this two number again will act as a resistance on the top. Now, Bank Nifty, three numbers are bearish. All the three numbers are bearish. So, these numbers will act as a resistance on the top. And the mega resistance will be this one. And the mega resistance will be this one. The difference is only 4 rupees. The difference is only 4 rupees. Okay. And if you go to Nifty, these two numbers will act as a support. And all these are looking good. So nifty, nothing to worry. Nifty, nothing to worry, provided you know it is because of motorbike. But believe me, uh, 2505 and 2532 will be the major, major maintenance work for uh, Reliance. Break about 2532. I don't know, God only can stop Reliance. Kindly watch it, kindly watch it. Even today also, if you go to uh, Reliance 2505, if you mark, then you will know what happened at 2505. And we are not writing this number today. We are writing this number for more than two months. So that is the key number for players. So kindly mark it. So as of now, Nifty, there is no problem. But Bank Nifty is a little bit vulnerable. So kindly have a watch. And uh, where the market topped out? It mark market topped out exactly at 18,769. This is where it topped out. And <laughs> why we are uh, we offloaded many? Because this number is very, very crucial number and it came and closed below this number. So we don't want to take any risky portion. Maybe tomorrow again, we will initiate the portion more uh, in case because stock is not a problem, but uh, index is literally, literally uh, in sideways movement for the last four days. Uh, you know, very difficult to handle the market now. Uh, 
and coming to uh, train change date again all these stocks i have already mentioned uh, watch out and uh, icici bank was exactly top happened at the uh, yearly date the top happened exactly at yearly date so watch out so now icici bank has to move above that yearly date i i think it is 958 or something like that so kindly have a watch because that came last month not this one that came last month actually uh, if you go somewhere here yeah 957.6 and 946.8 so the top happened exactly on the yearly date the top happened exactly on the yearly date so all these yellow color lines are very very i have not updated uh, you know uh, the rate because this is actually last month so this these are all very powerful these are all very very powerful so kindly mark all these dates so the yellow color dates and uh, run it so now we are watching again uh, conquer sorry sorry now i need to go here i'm sorry Mm, yeah, so conquer today. Uh, this is the yearly date, uh, 680 and 664. And today also conquer had a uh, yearly uh, no trend change date. The high was 688 and 669. So mark these two high above 688. You can simply buy by keeping a stop loss of 669. Okay, 669. And uh, I already talked about uh, BEL and Titan, so kindly have a watch. Okay, and. Uh, Watch again, chamber fertilizer, chamber fertilizer, because the difference is very, very narrow. You can kindly, kindly take a call. And the JSW Steel, it was a rocker today. But again, when everything came down, uh, this also came down. Yesterday was a train change day. Uh, it did a miracle, and today it opened at three percent up. It went roughly around uh, seven hundred and sixty-five because of the market fall. It came and closed at seven hundred and forty-eight point eight. Okay, and uh, okay, numbers we talked, we already discussed. Uh, that's all, nothing more to add. Again, uh, this week is very, very crucial. Uh, we already talked about this. So the next cycle is this important cycle is June 2nd week from 5th to 9th and 4th was very important, which was holiday. Okay, so watch this and the next mega date for Bank Nifty is 13th June and 12th June and the 13th June are the combination date for Nifty. 12th is an astro date and 13th is the uh, mega date for Bank Nifty based on time cycle. Uh, let's see uh, how it's going to work out from here. So that's all. Nothing more to add. Uh, let's see. This is the last number which I'm keeping it as a support. But any close below this number, any close below this number, we need to be very very cautious in Bank Nifty for the June series 43909. Till this number is intact, you can do all dilly dally, buying, selling, buying, selling, all that. But below this number, you need to be very, very cautious. And if you take Nifty, you don't need to worry about it because it is roughly around 250 points up from this level. So Nifty is looking good. Bank Nifty is not uh, good because I'm mean, close to below the fifth low, which is not good. But Nifty is still holding that fifth low. So I think uh, we don't need to worry about uh, Nifty. So let's see how the market is going to plan out for tomorrow. Again, saying I'm not a SEBI Register Investment Advisor, so kindly do your homework or consult your financial advisors before taking any financial decision. And we talked about uh, two months before we said that, you know, in case of the market crash from May 20th, May 20th, uh, the problem will escalate from Japan. Okay. But May 20th low was not uh, taken out and it's, uh, you know, it went up after that. So since it is not close to below the May 20th low, we need to be in long only. The next date is happening on 17th June and the 21st June. So these two dates are very, very crucial for Nikai. So watch out any crash in the in case if any crash comes in the market, it will be according to the past data, it will be from Japan. As of now, things are looking good in our uh, indices, nothing to worry about it. So we don't need to panic and exit everything. Be a little cautious, that's all. Okay, so in case if we need to exit everything, I will definitely inform you uh, in the platform. Thanks a lot. Again, saying I'm not a CB Register Investment Advisor, so kindly go and uh, consult your financial advisors before taking any financial decision. She is soon tomorrow at the magical number of Nifty with the combination candle. 
and uh, uh, the next week expiry bullish number and bearish number. Until then, good night.